Welcome to my photographs of Dundee United Football Club. They were originally formed in the year 1909 as Dundee Hibernian and then in 1923 changed their name to Dundee United which it has of course remained to this present day. Dundee United are a club with three honours which I will speak about in a moment. Dundee United's current manager is Peter Houston who took over after Craig Levine took up his current position as Scotland international football manager. Peter Houston still is the still assistant of the Scotland international football team under Craig Levine. Dundee United is ran of course by the Thompson family. Here is Stephen Thompson, the chairman of Dundee United Football Club, who of course took over after his father, Mr Eddie Thompson's sad passing in 2008. As you'll see in a moment, this is what the poster that was hung at Tanadice, the home ground of Dundee United, after Mr. Thompson's sad passing. You'll see in a moment. Just a small picture of some, just a small, very small selection of some of the tributes left shortly after the announcement of his passing. As you see there, that's just a small a selection of the tributes. There were many right around a, one side of Tanadice Park. Dundee United has three honours, as I said. We have won the Scottish League in 1983, actually on May the 14th, and it took, actually took place at Dens Park, the stadium of our home rivals Dundee Football Club, where we defeated them 2-1 to win the Premier League title of 1983. You will see the Dundee United and Tannadice Park and Dens Park photograph in a moment, which shows the closeness of the two stadiums, the closest two senior football clubs in the world. That is a unique record and one United and Dundee are proud of. You'll see in a moment uh, just a couple of photographs of the inside of Tannadice Park. A couple of these just showing the st stadium, just seeing the seating as you'll see there, DUFC written in tangerine and black writing. As you'll see Dunn United is a Premier Division side, of course, and the facilities are absolutely modern, of course, due to all of the rules, but Dunn United, of course, continually invests in keeping the facilities up to standard. And as you'll see, here's just a another fo one photograph of some of the point of view you get as a fan in the actual stadium. Now, Dunn United, of course, have not always played in Tangerine and Black. They originally played in Tangerine and Black when they was represented the Dallas Tornado in the United Soccer Association in the United States of America in the year 1967 after a personal invitation after their first Euro excursion made headlines all around the world in a very positive way. As you see there we play in Tangerine and Black Tangerine top with the black markings and tangerine shorts. Here, you, this is the away kit, current away kit, with mostly black with white arm bands and tangerine shorts with black and white socks. You'll see in a moment a picture of Dun United Business Club as well. Here it is. Uh, these are a few of volunteers that help at Dun United. Dun United very much a public and family club. Uh, several of these these uh, help raise charity funds from the club and organise things such as the regular Dundee United Open Day held every year. Now on the 15th of May 2010, Dundee United won for the second time after winning it on May the 21st 1994. We won the Scottish Cup beating Ross County in the final. It was a fantastic day. I was not unfortunate at the ground but I was there in 1984. But here you see a proud picture, the Scottish Cup with the tangerine and black banners of Dundee United Football Club. The following pictures are from the Celebration Day, which was took place on the 16th of two th May 2010, the very next day. We did a bus ride through the city centre, and then it was all back to Tannadice for a fantastic celebration. You see, these are pictures of the Tannadice ground absolutely filling up and it was filled to the rafters with Dundee United fans of course celebrating a fantastic momentous day in the club's history. 
Everton United, of course, has many of the great fans around the world, including Dundee's Lorraine Kelly, uh, who's a regular at Tarn Tarn Dice. There was no photographs of her, her here, but uh, you see at the moment how filled up it really got. You see, it was absolutely packed full that day. So again, 16th of May 2008, 2010. It was a fantastic day. Uh, you'll see in a moment uh, why some people may thought, think it's a weird picture. Uh, this is actually a member of the United Business Club, Mr. Tom Kearns. He's actually my uncle. Um, just celebrating uh, with fans. I took that picture at this moment because he was actually going, um, as of course, he's a very, very passionate Dun United fan. Uh, he was going absolutely crazy. Uh, this is, of course, some of the Dun United players now. Uh, being introduced, they were introduced one at a time, kind of like American football. Uh, ours, American footballers are at the Super Bowl. Uh, they were introduced one at a time to enormous fanfare, and you see them start uh, club players and officials starting to gather on the park. And uh, you see, it is fun as they were all introduced. Of course, every uh, Dundee United fan were chanting. You see the, the this is a photograph uh, in between uh, the players uh, being introduced and again you see the fans absolutely overjoyed at this on this day. Again some of these photographs are just uh, celebrating photo photographs of the players coming out and they gathered at this, uh, just um, all of the uh, centre line uh, with the fans of course and again it's just, just continuing shots of the players being introduced. I thought I'd just put some of these up um, as each one was given a special welcome by the fans after winning the cup at Hamden Park in Glasgow against Ross County. Uh, again, this is them bringing the Scottish Cup onto the field. The first time, as they said, uh, since 1994 that we have won the Scottish Cup. And the only two times so far we have won the Scottish Cup. Uh, May the 21st, 1994 against Rangers Football Club, winning 1-0 and against Ross County, as you see there, them holding the cup aloft on the field, and you see lots of journalists getting the uh, photographs uh, for their various publications. And this was the start of them uh, carrying the, uh, the Scottish Cup all around the border of the pitch uh, in order to show the fans the closest uh, that they could on that day. And you see it again, um, the stewards and uh, again that was just my uncle going crazy yet again. You can actually see him on the official Dun United video DVD which was uh, released to celebrate the victory uh, on the field. It's a fantastic DVD. Again, lots of uh, the Dun United players, so it's not quite a very clear picture of this, uh, but holding the cup aloft on time dice. A moment, another uh, player of course holding the Club. And it was quite funny actually at one point as uh, several of the members of Dun United football team actually uh, took their uh, top suits off, their shirts and ties and jackets off and started to parade around the pitch. And uh, this is one of them. Uh, they all, in, well most of them ended up joining in at the end. Um, it is fantastic and you can see it on um, Centurion Spirit, I believe it is, uh, the Dun United Cup winning DVD which has the match and some of the, uh, some of the celebrations uh, on pitch you see there holding the cup aloft and you see it, see, uh, it doesn't quite show you but some of the uh, players did join in shortly after it was very funny to see them parade around um, topless with the with carrying the cup and obviously United players overjoyed in their celebrations of winning the Scottish Cup it really is again fantastic day as you see there, two of the players uh, started running around with the cup uh, and you see one of the journalists, uh, Cameron, uh, I will possibly have done United um, actually chasing after them, uh, trying to get the Im this image again. There are some of the players and again my uncle sneaks into the photograph, it's annoying, he did sneak into a couple of photographs, a couple of them I've taken out. Um, as you see the players looking on in uh, sh shock and awe. Uh, at the at the players down, running around the pitch with the again another just another shot of Peter Houston there with the cup uh, being uh, absolutely 
surrounded by journalists taking photographs of course that Peter Houston uh, took over in the middle of the cup run as when Craig Levine uh, middle of the season when Craig Levine left Tanadice to take up his current position of Scotland international football manager uh, and of course many of the celebrations. You see several interviews taking place there uh, with the camera crews. You see there uh, as well a fantastic uh, shot of the interview taking place. You see several uh, United members at this point uh, took flags and banners uh, and were showing them all around to the father. You see some of the uh, medical uh, volunteers there uh, in the background in the dugout area. Uh, of course, then you need to obviously. Um, I would like to thank very much. Well, so many volunteers uh, managed to help the fans, of course, and uh, any incident. And there you see, uh, this was uh, actually uh, earlier when we were waiting for the Dun United team to arrive at Tanaris. As they were, like I said, they were in the city centre showing off the cup at City Hall uh, earlier in the morning. Uh, there was a Dun United's Juniors League finals were happening. Uh, this was the setup uh, area for the young, around about uh, seven, eight years old. Um, this was set up for the winners, and all various teams uh, had their chance to take their pictures with the trophies. And you see there, this was a bit of a silly moment for fans, if I'm, in my opinion. They, um, although it was very quickly cleared by the stewards, uh, eventually. Uh, the Dun United fans in the media, the pitch is one of the few times it happened, I know uh, most of them got the better of that. This was an, a failed kind of failed shot because I was trying to get a picture of Peter Houston with Stephen Thompson, uh, obviously this is them parading the cup again, uh, again just uh, showing the cup to the fans, a fantastic ceremony again. This was just uh, the fans, this was the team actually thanking the fans for their continued support uh, before they, ent they went uh, re-entered the tunnel uh, and went to finally have a chance I'm sure to sit back, relax and realise what they've done, uh, what they have fantastically achieved. This is Craig Conway, uh, he started to pose with some several fans you see, trying to get a picture of the uh, lady, uh, Lord of Child and I just know this and it's shown just how uh, friendly the United players actually are and you see Mr Craig Conway there posing with another fan. Uh, several of them were posing with fans across around the border of the team again. The United fans were kept uh, obviously in the seating areas uh, to avoid any uh, incident. But it was fantastic to see the United players actually posing with a lot of the fans, taking the time out. And this was, again, this was just before they re-entered the tunnel and uh, finished off the celebrations. And you see there, just the. United fans, by this time the players were not quite on up the all uh, into the uh, facilities when the fans came on. Uh, this was uh, United fans giving the players, waving, waving them off back into it. This is actually now, I believe, the Open Day, the 2010 Open Day. Uh, it's just a few pictures again showing the inside tan dice. It was actually fantastic as then United gave fans the opportunity for a small donation. Uh, no minimum uh, and financial amount to actually pose with the Scottish Cup which I have on this photograph collection which you'll see near the end. Uh, this again this is uh, this is this is actually a mixed up photograph I realize this is me on the set of celebrations uh, having my picture taken beside the picture getters. You were not really you were not actually supposed to go on the part but uh, this was my mother taking a photograph of myself on this again, this historicity and the United fans starting to be cleared from the pitch. And then only one bit of a relatively short time, a few minutes before the stewards cleared them. Again, this is a fantastic um, day for the United fans. Like I said, we are actually uh, one of the most respect. I have to say, all United fans have, of course, one of the best reputations in the world. We have a fair play stand at Tanadice which was given to us by UEFA and FIFA for the fantastic behaviour of our fans in Europe. This is Terms, uh, the our club mascot. Uh, as you see, this is the open day now. Uh, just a couple of photographs of him. It was, um, I don't know whether you can actually quite see it in the photographs, but it was actually raining for a good period of 
uh, the start of the open day. Thankfully, it actually, as if um, someone, was clear, uh, someone was looking out, it cleared miraculously within about t- 10 minutes before the players were coming on. This was uh, some of the prize draw givings uh, done by uh, Daniel. Again, this is my uncle, just having to be him doing the prize draw givings. And this is, I believe it's Stuart Webster of TFM, uh, actually. Uh, Welcome the fans to the Dunyan United Open Day and Stephen Thompson uh, waiting there to give his speech again just welcoming fans uh, to the Open Day and being interviewed uh, about what uh, United plans for for the, for the coming season and of course um, commenting on again just again on the uh, cup win and it's just Mr Thompson uh, just thanking the fans for their support um, obviously Doing, uh, making the comment on different, uh, different aspects of topics of the United Football Club. I see there again, uh, that was just uh, an announcement of uh, different uh, commercial wheel replica kits and season tickets and um, various. Uh, this is a, this is not a fantastic picture. I think the following picture is uh, better. This is a man called just a picture to date. Uh, Uncle and uh, Stephen Thompson on the Dun United the Brown Tan Race Park. Uh, just and that's just a, that's a better, slightly clearer picture. I had to zoom out to get it. Uh, again, this is him waiting on the Dun United players emerging from the tunnels as we were just preparing them. And you'll see in a moment they all gathered on the park. They had a short training session uh, before. They uh, met the fans. They lined up on uh, in one of the stadiums, and actually a fantastic thing. Although I was unable to attend the 2010 Cup final, I actually received from my one of my mother's uh, friends who was in attendance a program from that very Cup final, which I on that day took with me and got signed by the whole Dun United squad. Uh, I actually first signature was actually Dun United legend Paul Hegarty, who I met outside the club uh, while I was waiting for the open day to begin. Uh, he uh, was very kind and signed it, uh, and it's something of course I will treasure. Although I said I was not there, it is a very fantastic to have the entire squad, uh, apart from Lee Wilkie of course, I had to retire mid-season. Uh, wasn't there unfortunately, could not attend due to uh, his new job but uh, uh, again this is them starting to go through their paces uh, but uh, it was fantastic, I have that programme, it is one of my most treasured possessions, a signed programme from the 2010 Scottish Cup final signed by all of the squad, it is fantastic, again this is done United, on the small training session they did on the open day, uh, going through their paces by Peter, taken through by the Peter Hughes. And this was the view of one of the top of the one of the stands. Um, this was actually while I was waiting in line to have my picture taken again for a small donation, which I was, of course was happy to do to give. Uh, this is actually uh, to this is actually one of uh, also the outside view of from that top of the stand. This is actually two uh, flats actually earmarked for demolition at this present time. Uh, the red one you can see there is Butterburn Court and the blue one is Bucklemaker Court. Again, these are both scheduled for dem- demolition, but you can see the blue and white uh, of Dens Park. That's how close Dens Park actually is. Isn't it? Um, Dens Park Stadium, I believe it's Dens um, a part of the facility of Dens Park. And again, you see um, some of the uh, players and uh, officials on Tower of Park and this as well, I was waiting to have my photograph taken with the Scottish Cup and as you can see uh, that is the photograph, uh, uh, again I treasure that as well uh, a picture of Dun United one with the uh, banner to Scottish Cup in 2010 uh, so these are some of my photographs of Dun United Football Club as you see there, uh, Dun United my passion so I thank you for looking at these photographs uh, I'm sure that many Dun United fans will hopefully look at these and of course, then you need a fantastic club.